never slow up No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Hello everybody, I told you about in a video before about a friend of mine who had a relationship with a CO in uh, Farmington Correctional Center. She quit, I think if I remember correctly, she quit before they found out about it. But they knew what was, you know, they finally found out what was going on and everything. They blackballed him from any job. He couldn't even fuck sweep the floor, you know. And I was lead man and I hired him one time when the sergeant wasn't uh, that hated him wasn't on, and when she came back, she fired him. You know, she said, and she tells me, I am not going to have him working. He could not get a job anywhere. But this sergeant that hated him because of this, I guess that CO was a friend of hers or something, would go to his cell and cuss him out, say all kinds of bad things about him. And back then, we could have. Uh, stereos and th there was cassette uh, tapes you know you could play cassettes in them and uh, so one day he recorded her he seen her making her rounds and he just turned the recording on because he knew she was gonna stop and say something and she did and she's saying all kinds of bad things and he mailed it to his lawyer got her in a bunch of trouble and everything so after that no mics were allowed in stereo for the safety and security of the institution is to save their own butts is what it was i don't care what they say they say that we could uh blackmail uh seals and stuff and probably so but still the main reason they did it is because it didn't happen until after that incident is to save their own butts from saying things or doing things so anyway years later i still had my stereo I was in another uh, prison by this time. I was in uh, South Central Correctional Center. And people started making mics out of earbuds. So they got to where they was checking. I still had the mic in mine. I, I didn't, I had forgotten all about it and everything. I didn't know, you know. I don't remember them coming to take it, to take it out or anything. And even when they would order, people would, just, we still able to order them. They'd come without the uh, mics, you know. And it's Panasonic's. Anyway, they found out I had a mic in mine, and they thought I made one. They put me in a hole for four months under investigation. First, they, and plus I did 10 days for having a, a mic in my uh, stereo. But they listened to all my cassette tapes back then. You know, we had cassette tapes back then. <laughs> it's funny thinking about that now. But uh, <laughs> while I was down, I filed an IRR, and I said, man, I... It's your job, guys' job, to take these out. Uh, you made it. I said, no, I didn't. Where'd you get it? I said, take the stereo part. You'll see it's factory made. They said they did. I don't believe they did. But they, then they got to ask me where I got the mic at. And I, I told them, I, you guys didn't take it out when I ordered it. And uh Hey, where'd you get it? They just kept asking me that and asking me that. And I told them finally. I said, I went down to Radio Shack and got it. And they got mad at me and everything. But this all started because my friend recorded a sergeant saying bad, cursing him out, saying bad things about him. It didn't happen before then. They wasn't worried about COs being blackmailed before then. It was only after that that they started that for the safety and security of the institution. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Now, thank you for watching. Now, see you next time.